Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on. We're going to be working on these very easy to do roses. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do them. They're not difficult at all. So go ahead and grab about two of your favorite nail polish colors and let's get started. The first thing I will begin by doing is I'm going to get a black nail polish. and Any black nail polish of your choice will do. And what I'm going to be doing is up here in the tip, I'm going to be doing that whole entire tip black just on the side so I'm going to be using my brush for that and all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in between this corner and I'm going to bring it all the way around I'm going to be giving it a little smooth tip to end on the side like you can see there so I'm going to clean this out and uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a red little dot over on this area and I'm going to be using the red and the reason I'm using the red is because it's going to be the color of the rose it's sort of um so it could be have a little bit of a different tint in the middle of the rose let me see if I can show you better with that one the middle of the, the flower part is a little bit darker so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my red polish and I'm using this one by Santee and it's called Red Alert and all I'm going to do there is I'm going to draw a red dot over on that area just like that it's nothing difficult to do so the next thing to do is we're going to allow this to completely dry before we start working on the rows we're going to do a couple of stripes on the black polished area I'm going to be using my thin nail art polish for this and all I'm going to do is I'm going to outline and I'm going to go straight across outlining the black polished area. Your lines can be as thick or as thin as you want them to be. So I've done one silver one there. I'm going to be doing another one in the middle of the black polished area. Okay, my hands are so shaky. I'm going to try to do it as straight as I can. And if I mess up, I can always go back in with the uh, black polish and then I'm going to do one more over on that area right there so I've done three stripes there in the corner the next thing we're going to do is allow this to completely dry now we're going to begin working on the rose but before I get started on doing the nail art on my finger let me see if I could zoom you in so you could see that's the rose we're going to be working on but before I show you um, the actual nail art on my finger I'm going to show you on a piece of paper exactly what I'm going to do and the reason I'm doing this is because the space on my finger is very limited and I'll be able to show you on a bigger scale on a piece of paper there's two ways of doing the roses the first method I'm going to show you is the easiest one there is which is all you do is you do a little swirl and you close it off from there all you have to do is around the swirl you just go round and round round and round and you're just rounding that off and there from there you can stop there or in between each of the little petals you're gonna go in between and close it off it's very important that you close it off in between and close it off in between close it off in between and you get the picture you just keep going and going and your rows can get as big as you want from there you do the leaves on the side and then you do the stem and there you have your rose and we did it all with a little swirl in the middle very simple to do the other way of doing it is you're going to start with the letter C so I'm going to do a tiny tiny letter C a very tiny letter C as you can see they're very tiny it almost looks like a letter G from here I'm going to go around the tip and I'm going to do that sort of thing and then I'm going to go around and close it off around and close it off around and close it off and from here you just start going in between the petals going round and round and until you end up with your rose shape and from there you can do the petals then your stem and then the thorns so those are two methods you can use for doing your flower they're very easy 
in the future I will show you how to do a button of a rose which is even simpler than this so that's what we're going to be doing on the method I'm going to be using to do this rose that's exactly the method I'm going to be using so now we can get started now we're ready to begin working on the rows. We have our guideline there as you can see, our, our little dot, that's what we're going to use as our guide. I've glopped my piece of paper here on the side with the black nail polish and I'm going to be using the thinnest, uh, this is a marbling tool, it comes in a set of the nail art dotting tools. So what I'm going to start doing is in the very center we're going to do the little C We worked on just a tiny tiny little C and you don't want your your dotting tool to be so full of um, polish if you see that it's getting too thick with polish then you should definitely clean it out and start again from scratch so we're just starting there and we're doing the little um, going around and round and closing it off so all we're gonna do that is we're gonna go all around and we're gonna make sure to close it off on all the sides okay so we're going to move over to this side and very carefully we're closing it off and every single time I'm cleaning my my dotting tool because I don't want my dotting tool to be so thick for example this here I won't be able to use because it's too thick and it'll just turn everything into a blob so I have to clean it out and start again so for every flower I made, um, I made sure to do that, to clean off my, my tool and that way I could get a, a nice thin layer. And sometimes it won't come out not even the second time, sometimes even after you clean out your tool, you still get a dirty, um, not a dirty, just a very thick application and we don't want a thick application. Okay, so there we've done... Um, the loops and the loops, we're just working on our loops. So your flower can be as big as you want or as small as you want. So I'm just gonna draw one more here in between these two and that'll be it for our rows. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a black nail art polish and we're gonna be working on the little um, leaves you see there on the side of the rose. So I'm gonna thin out my brush as thin as I can do the brush and I'm going to start by doing a leaf over on this side so I'm just gonna sort of do like a little almond shape over on this side and give it a little tip I'm going to dip again and I'm going to place now the leaf on the other side so you can do your um, flowers however you want I mean this is just an example you can do them even bigger if you do them bigger it's probably even a lot easier so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start over in this corner and I'm just gonna do a little swirly line connecting to the rose and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the little um, thorns but I'm not gonna do too many thorns just a couple of them here and there okay and there's there's the rose let me cover that up. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to be placing the black polish, again fresh black polish on my piece of paper. I'm going to be using the same small dotting tool and I'm going to be doing a couple of dots. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do one and um, we're going to do one, two, three. Then we're going to go up on the top area here. I'm going to start rounding it off. Up, up, and up. Okay, so that's it. The only thing you'll have left to do is add your top coat and your nail, your nails will be nice and ready. I decided to alternate the, the roses. For example, here I did the one with the long um, stem and then here just the rose itself. And then on the thumbs, I decided to do the rose with the long stem and add two leaves because on these, I just added the one leaf. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys like this design and try it out using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.